Okay, guys, I'm sorry that I'm late, but I had some phone calls and then I had a bunch of stuff going on. Um, but we're going to, here's what, here's what's going to happen. What is going on here to continue your session? I don't know everything. I've got like some massive security stuff going on here. I think it's because I was, uh, and excuse me because my hair is just like, uh, swimming in a shower and I did nothing and so I don't have uh, okay just oh my gosh are you kidding me they're gonna send me a message on my phone now for real that's not my that's not my phone um why, why aren't they sending me my thing Oh, this is so crazy. I have nothing by phone. This is a ridiculous thing. I don't... Jimmy, I'm not. Everything's messed up with my Google now. Everything. It's, I'm a lot, I'm live. Jimmy, I'm live. Jimmy, I'm live. I know, but it's asking me. He doesn't have, he has his underwear on, okay? He's okay, well, asking me. Are you trying um, to change your YouTube settings? CJ Kavarnes. Jimmy, please don't give out. Okay. okay. I'm going to say um, yes. so, Please. Yeah. Okay. I don't right. understand why it's Ready. going to you at all. Because don't you remember we logged in on your YouTube? I hope nothing got messed up. Right, what are the numbers? Are okay. Uh, I think it's okay, Leonard. Let me, you think so? Let me see. But I'm live and you're not dressed. I know. I'm not going to well, go. I, I got, had a heart attack, Jimmy. Oh, well, I'm not going to go over here. Okay. So you think it's okay? I'm I'm thinking. Let me see. Make sure that I'm here. Um, you need to call me or something if if I have to uh, um, change some kind of number here. Otherwise. No, I think it's all. Let me see if I can get in now. Ethan. Let me see. Close. All right. So hopefully I should be here. Sorry guys. I don't know what. I I think I don't know why why they would have made me do that except that I don't know what he's saying that I didn't sign into something. All right, let me see now. Um, now I'm sorry that I, I'm late. It's and uh, hold on a minute. But here's what's going to happen. I was going to do the Patreon before. I'm going to do the Patreon after. I'm going to do this before right now. And um, what's going to happen is we're going to watch the next two episodes of um, the Jinx about Robert Durst. Very. Um, relevant to the trial since he was actually on the stand again today and so but we're going to talk about now i'm having severe deja vu with this um matthew coleman case because i know it happened monday but i i have more than that it's just a couple of days i think i i remember like another guy in california very recently a guy that like looked like a nice guy and stuff and that he did something horrible to his family and that he had some kind of swim school and it's freaking me out so bad that I that I'm like losing my mind over it because it can't just be that I read about it a few days ago I mean this is more like maybe a month ago or at least two weeks ago I have no, I don't know why. I, I, I know it's out in California. I know it's some kind of like swim or surf school. And so this is really bizarre that I'm having this like kind of deja vu, but I'm going to try to put it out of my head and see what happens. Okay. This is a horrific, horrific case. And what I'm going to do first is show you his Instagram because I want to show you his Instagram. If, if you guys are not Please don't look it up. If you don't know about it yet, don't look it up yet. And don't tell them in the chat. Because um, I want to just show something. Okay. Let me just make sure you can hear me. Hold on. Can you guys hear me? Hold on. What is this? That's the wrong thing. What is this? Hold on. I'm not even in the right. Save that. Hold on. Uh, 
me see here. Yeah, when it's storming like crazy outside. I don't think we'll lose power or something. If something happens, um, do you hear the thunder? It may be that, so don't freak out, but I'm hoping that it doesn't. It's not supposed to be really, really, really bad. Okay. Um, let me get back to the chat. And, I, and again, I'm really sorry for, like, all, I thought it, everything was just going crazy today. Dang. Okay. No, I'm just looking at something that's not good. Okay, let me see if that'll work now. Let me make sure that you can. Okay, so you can hear me, right? Now, terrible story Bergstrong says, has everyone here heard this? Everyone here has heard this? Just put a one. Hi, Justin Spear. I haven't seen you in forever. Hi, John Masaki, Aurora Rodriguez, Deborah Vancouver, Dan Jokalis, Sandra Kay. What is going on with the dogs? Um, Lisa H., Robin Lane, freaking out with the weather. Jessica, Michelle. Sandy K, April Cook, Norma May, Nona May, Isabel, GB, if I forgot any, Sweet Pea, Jenny Anderson, Buttercups. We just had storms here too. Okay, so let me see here. John Wasaki, okay. No, so some of you know. Okay, good. The ones of you know, please don't look at anything yet. This is his Instagram account, right? This is public. Again, I am not his friend, you see? I'm not his friend. I don't follow him. Here is the family, okay? He's, this is 13 weeks ago. He says, my treasures, 13 weeks ago. Then he takes this little picture of his little boy. Gonna miss this place, okay? Um... Here he is with his, his child in there. Okay, here's his two children here, Kaleo and Roxy. Okay, good times celebrating an old friend this weekend. That's 11 weeks ago, 10 weeks ago. Good times celebrating my 40th in my happy place today. Thankful for amazing friends and for a legend, Captain Kenny Schmidt for making it happen. Couldn't be more excited for the next 40 years to come. Bring it. Uh, a lot of emotions this weekend. And this was, uh, was this, um, four weeks ago. Celebrating a full life of an old friend. So many memories, spending almost every Day together, eighth, ninth grade, eight hour surf sessions at Mesa Lane, late night skating, my garage, half pipe, surf trips to Costa Rica, to name a few. Jared impacted my life in so many ways, but one that I'm forever grateful for is the time he invited me to that, to my first Christian surfers meeting at Jerry Dow's house, just a hundred yards away from his house on Mohawk Road. It was a meeting that totally changed the direction of my life. And I owe a lot to that, to Jared for having such a unique ability to lead his friends to places that he was excited about, new glorious places he's at now, and that he will continue to lead many friends into the same glory. Much love, brother. What is going on with the dogs? Okay. Let's see here. So what's up with this? What's up with this? Okay, here we have a picture of his family again. Thanking God for these three this morning. 25 weeks ago. Okay, loving this weather. Pictures of his kids here. Pictures of his wife and kids. Family, heart. Here's his wife, celebrating four years married to this biker babe. 
headed back from Texas, y'all. Um, he's talking about the Renaissance here um, and celebrating with his friends. And this is a little bit strange and odd, some stuff here. While worshiping with friends this weekend, I had an unexpected wave of thoughts and images come over me, Well, which, well, brought me a lot of hope. The first image was one of this historical timeline where the period of the Dark Ages, the 5th through the 15th century, was contrasted next to the illuminated creative explosion of the Renaissance, meaning rebirth, 15th and 16th centuries. The crazy thing about history is that you don't know what your session, excuse me, you don't know what your season will be labeled as until years down the road, and more so, sometimes your time period isn't labeled by what happens during it, but rather what happens after it. While people were living in the Dark Ages, they weren't thinking, it really sucks living in the Dark Ages. It wasn't until years after the Renaissance did people start to identify that period as the Dark Ages. And really the main reason for getting that label was due to the striking contrast that it had with the explosion of art, music, inventions, and discoveries that occurred during the Renaissance. What if, now listen, what if we are about to enter the greatest Renaissance period that the world has ever seen? What if we are on the verge of entering into an unparalleled explosion of creativity, art, music, inventions, discoveries, entrepreneurship, cures, community, and revelations of God's love to the point that our current period will eventually be seen as another dark ages? What if there is a type of great American Renaissance following the years of COVID censorship, censorship and political dis divisiveness? that will empower each person's heart to come alive and explode with innovative ideas, new business models, new music sounds, and never seen ways to build an amazing community. What if 2020 is just the birth pains of what is on its way in 2021 and beyond? It's almost as if God praying over us, as if God is praying over us. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope. Ephesians 118 much love and hope to everyone okay this is the kind of, this was 37 weeks ago that he wrote that here he's got the kids here me familia right okay arise shine for you light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you here he is with his son right okay days to remember here they are, proud big brother. My little nugget of glory. Okay. This past Saturday morning, a few seconds before sunrise, we welcomed little Roxy Rain into our family. At 6.49 a.m. in the quiet of our home, she was pulled out of the water and welcomed into our arms. Rory means bright dawn and rain is a symbol for God's blessing of abundance God's blessing abundance and fruitfulness towards our family in this season. While waiting for her to come, I kept feeling this sense that she was going to be born in a very pivotal time in history and that she would represent a dawn or even an awakening to years of great blessing for our family and nation. Another picture that came to me was of God reaching down into a riverbed and picking up a small stone rock, examining it intently, just as David had done before slaying Goliath. God examined the stone and was confident that it was just the perfect one for the battle. Although it was small, smooth, and somewhat harmless looking, he knew that it would become great when placed in the palm of a skilled hand. My declaration over Roxy Rain is that she has been handpicked by God to slay. Now, now pay attention to this, because what I'm going to tell you. She has been handpicked by God to slay the giants in the land. That she has been born with everything she needs to fully accomplish God's plan for her life. And that she will be a great blessing wherever she goes. And can't help but give a shout out to my fearless wife for bringing us baby Roxy in just a few hours. What a fighter. So excited for everyone to meet our precious new addition to the family. 
Thanks for all the love, meals, and constant support during this season. That was 44 weeks ago. This is little Roxy. Okay, she would have turned a year old in September. Uh, what an Kaleo Sky Coleman, what an amazing son. It's so fun to watch Kaleo slowly become all that he was created to be. The sound of heaven's dove, one who awakens people to the fact that they are eternally chosen, accepted, and cherished by a loving father, a freedom bringer, and a joy bringer. Can't wait to welcome our new baby girl to the crew. I'm convinced I married the most beautiful woman in the world. Baby girl coming this September. Get ready for some glory. So thankful for this little one. Loved hanging with my son today. It's kind of a crazy feeling taking him down to the beach. I spent this and my entire childhood at and experiencing it all over again. He looks around and says, woo when I'm with him. Things that I've experienced a thousand times start to feel new and awe-inspiring. It's ironic I'm showing him all these new things and then he becomes the one that actually teaches me about the true nature of what I'm looking at. He has this special gift in being able to recognize the glory all around him and then bringing other people into it. Okay, Sunday skate day was interrupted by some glory or chasing Kaleo, wanted to be right in the middle of it. Morning visit to the glory land. Merry Christmas. Father, son, skate days. A weekend to remember. New skate, new season. Happy birthday to my hip-shaking, fun-loving, baby-birthing, shooby dooby lovey dovey bride. Love having this woman by my side. One year to go today was one of this, those special kind of days that are certain days really mark a man's life for me. This was definitely one of them. And around mid-morning, the tropical storm had filled in kicking off a steady stream of light rain across Santa Barbara. It was crazy how the storm's intensity seemed to be mirroring Abby's labor pains. And by the time evening hit, well, things were getting electric. At 6.50 p.m., we met our beloved Kaleo Sky right there on our living room floor. I remember thinking and praying about a name the months before his birth. Every time it crossed my mind, all I could think of was that scene from the Bible where John the Baptist is baptizing Jesus and his voice comes out of the sky in the form of a dove saying, this is my beloved son in whom is all my delight. It's a sneaky kind of verse because at first, at first to read all you're really thinking of is this, un oh, hang on one second.
Sorry, guys. All right, the dogs are a little nutty. Um, I think it's a storm or something. I have no idea. So I remember thinking, about the, okay, baptizing Jesus. This is my beloved son. It's a sneaky kind of verse because at first, read all, you're thinking of is this unparalleled relationship between Papa God and Jesus. And why wouldn't you? But a year into this whole fatherhood thing, I'm starting to see that this scene is a bit more inclusive than I originally thought. I'm starting to see that this scene is opening up a truth, a truth that delight is the very thing that awakens us to who we really are. Kaleo Sky Coleman means the sound of heaven's dove, and it's our joy to continually declare over him that he is the one that reawakens the eternal delight between God and man. Couldn't be more proud of the kid and all that he's becoming. Happy birthday. Okay. He's, he's got these deep thoughts. Okay. I'm not going to read them all, but thankful for moments like this. Don't be jealous of my floaty. Okay. Three years ago, Abby and I ventured to Plaskett Creek where I made the best decision of my life and asked her to be my bride. Fun heading back now with the fruit of the glory of that glorious. Yes. Thankful for my little adventure crew. Okay. Weekend getaway begins. New hairdo. Miss this little ham. These two. Young Simba getting acquainted with his inheritance. That's kind of scary. I don't know how high that rock is. Hopefully it's not. It's not high. I don't think it is. I don't think it's off a cliff. Okay. Happy Mama's Day to this beautiful beautiful woman, always so full of love and grace, thankful. You could say, I enjoy being a dad. These two bring so much joy, deeply in love. Family. Baby K getting a dose of fresh nature today, a dose of nature today. I waited many a year and traveled many a mile to find this one. And now that we're now that we're two years deep, I'm more sure than ever that I found a truly priceless treasure, an epic time last night, celebrating the love of my life and casting vision for the years of adventure to come. Love my wifey, two years. Remembering Kaleo's first beach day. Almost time for his first surf. This guy, Kaleo Sky. Glory to God. Okay. First day of winter, delivering some snuggle walks with little K. Okay. So, oh, maybe some people are my boy, okay? Now, faces of Kaleo Sky. It's an absolute joy to introduce our son, Kaleo Sky Coleman, born at home. At our home, 6.50 p.m. Wednesday evening in the middle of a tropical thunderstorm. His birth was fast, fiery, and more electric than I could have ever imagined. So proud of his mama for being such a fighter. And through the blood, sweat, and tears, coming out a champion with prize in hand. When thinking of what to name him. Okay, we already heard this, okay? All right. Now, things are getting real. So excited to meet our much-loved son. Good friends, make a man rich. We're having a son, so crazy pumped right now. A deep heart desire to start, is starting to manifest, and it feels oh so good. Okay, so what happened for those, okay, that don't know, Tell you what happened. So I'm trying to get to the, um, I want it, I don't want it, I want to find the, okay, here we go. 
So a missing persons report was filed last Sunday, okay, because M Matthew Coleman's wife, this woman right here, Abby, contacted the Santa Barbara police after her husband had taken the kids out on Saturday but didn't tell her where they were going. She grew concerned after he failed to respond to her messages and knowing that her husband didn't have a car seat with him, she called the police. A missing persons report was filed Sunday. Officers asked her to use the Find My iPhone feature to see whether she could find Coleman. The program showed that Coleman's last known location was in Rosarito, Mexico. So police got in contact with the FBI and they started an investigation and they thought what it was that they were dealing with was a case of suspected parental kidnapping. And they got Matthew Coleman. He was detained Monday after an inspection by border protection agents of his van upon his re-entry into the United States. Now the agents did not see his children, but they found blood in the vehicle. Okay, so let me just... And, um... So what happened was that Coleman then confessed to the murders when he was interviewed on Monday. He also gave authorities the location of the murder weapon and the discarded bloody clothing, and he identified two bodies recovered by Mexican authorities as those of his children. Now the judge ordered that Coleman is to be held without bond and scheduled his arraignment for August 31st. According to this complaint, Coleman said that he knew what he did was wrong, but that it was the only course of action that would save the world. Now, what was going on with this guy is that the complaint said Matthew Coleman told authorities that he learned about serpent DNA through QAnon and Illuminati conspiracy theories. And even though the lizard people conspiracy theories predates both by several decades, the believers in each theory have melded together over the last few years because conspiracy theory influencers and algorithms on social media frequently lump the theories together. So what he believed was that the world was run by these reptiles that were secretly murdering and eating children, okay? Donald Trump was quietly working to defeat them in his time of office. And um, the lizard people were taking over Hollywood and the US government, okay? And he said, let me go back up here. He, he owned the surfing school, and he was charged with killing his children. He thought his children would grow into monsters, so he had to kill them. And that's from the federal agents, the federal officials. So he was charged Wednesday with foreign murder of U.S. nationals in connection with the death of his two-year-old son and his 10-month-old daughter, he killed them using a spear fishing gun to stab them. Okay. And he told the FBI that he killed his children because he believed they were going to grow into monsters and that conspiracy theories led him to believe that his wife had passed down her serpent DNA to the children. Can you even imagine what his wife, you know, how, how does somebody get so far gone that they honestly believe that some kind of reptiles are running the world? I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I can't even understand it. Um, sounds like a psychotic break, but it, it, you, you're telling me that people really believe this stuff and, and kill their children over this. It's just, it's, it's out of this world.
But yeah, so you look at that and maybe some people were saying, oh, look at them, they have it all. And he's just stark raving mad. And I'll tell you now after, I see like a disconnect in his eyes. I don't know. I, I like, I see a, it's like every picture, he looks the same, but like his eyes don't seem to be looking, I don't know, there's like a disconnect in the, in the eyes. And obviously, like even, even in the wedding, some of the wedding pictures, there's like a, a disconnect there. But um, yeah, let me, let me see. Let me see what you guys are saying in here. Hold on. Praying so hard for the mother, I can't even believe it. Yeah, it's it's horrible. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand that. Mary Rose, I mean, if anybody, if any of my friends ever told me that, I, I would bring them into a psychiatric ward, uh, no joke. Were there, I don't know, they didn't, I, we don't know that much, you know, right now, but I don't know why I'm having such deja vu with that case. It's driving me crazy. And Cheever said, I don't understand how anybody didn't see he was going wacko. He surely didn't just wake up and think they were lizard people. I would think there would be some kinds of signs, something he was saying. This man believed this, and many others do. Oh, boy. That's crazy. And did you hear the other thing in Florida where the 21-year-old woman was on a um, Zoom business meeting, and her toddler there was a loaded gun and shot her dead on, on the Zoom live? They, someone saw a toddler, heard a noise, saw the woman fall back. That was in Florida. Hi, Kathy from Texas. Yeah, bless that mama. That's just insane. You have to believe it. Little children one day before. No, it, they weren't killed one day before. They were killed um, on uh, probably Sunday or Monday. Should have been because they are very open. Should have been. They're very open about their beliefs. Well, how do you go from all of those loving things about your children to then thinking that they have this reptilian DNA and uh, they're going to grow up to be monsters? What, what, why then, um, what about his wife? What, what do you, what do you, what, where was he going with this? What, what, what did he think was going to happen? He'd get away with this? Would he go back to the wife? When, how did he suddenly think that the wife is to blame? Two children, a two-year-old and a 10-month-old. I, I don't even understand what, what. Let me see if there's anything else about this guy.
He killed the two children with a spear fishing gun after abducting them. Told investigators that his belief in the conspiracy theories known as QAnon made him do it. He drove his two-year-old son and his 10-month-old daughter to Mexico over the weekend and fatally shot them with the spear fishing gun on Monday. In a nine-page criminal affidavit filed in the U.S. District Court in Los Angeles on Wednesday, the FBI special agent wrote that Mr. Coleman told the authorities that he knew what he did was wrong, but that it was the only course of action that would save the world. Matthew Coleman stated that he believed his children were going to grow into monsters, so he had to kill them. Matthew Coleman explained that he was enlightened by QAnon and Illuminati conspiracy theories and was receiving visions and signs revealing that his wife possessed serpent DNA and had passed it on to his children. Mr. Coleman described himself as an adherent of QAnon. I'm not even going to get into the, all the politics with that. And he was charged with on Wednesday with foreign murders of U.S. nationals and remains in federal custody. A federal public defender who represented Mr. Coleman at a detention hearing on Wednesday in federal court in Los Angeles where he was being held without bond did not immediately respond to the New York Times for any comment. Mr. Coleman is the founder of Love Water, a surfing school in Santa Barbara that offers private and group lessons in addition to surf therapy. A biography on the company's website described him as a champion surfer and youth mentor who enjoys spearfishing and sailing. The website features photos of Mr. Coleman with his wife and two children. Investigators said that it was Matthew Coleman's wife who first contacted the Santa Barbara Police Department on Saturday, the same day that he drove off with the couple's children in their Mercedes Sprinter van and did not say where he was going. The family was supposed to go camping and Matthew did not respond to his wife's text messages. Using the Find My iPhone function on her laptop, he was tracked down on Sunday in Rosarito, Mexico, a beach town about 16 miles south of the border city of Tijuana. On Monday, it showed that Matthew was still in Mexico and was near the San Ysidro port of entry where another FBI agent interviewed him when he attempted to cross back into the United States. And there were no signs of his children, but they found blood on the vehicle's registration papers. The bodies of his two children were identified in court records only by their initials. The girl was RC and the boy was KC, and they were found in a ditch by the Mexican authorities, and they had large puncture wounds to their chest cavities. In the arrest affidavit, investigators wrote that Mr. Coleman told them he had discarded the spearfishing gun in a creek, and his bloody clothes in a trash bin at the side of a road in Tijuana. Investigators said that Mr. Coleman told them that his son was still alive after he shot him with the spear fisting gun and that he continued to move the spear around. I think he means continued to move with the spear. How horrible. He told the agent that he had fired the spear fishing gun into his daughter's heart. How horrible, how absolutely horrible. Oh my gosh. And this is his business. Love water. Santa Barbara, surf lessons, after school programs, surf camps, rentals, surf therapy, the store, contact information, 
Love Water Visual Media. Facebook page. July 27th. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Let me, um, let me just get rid of these. Uh, I don't want to compromise anybody's um, anybody's messages that they've sent me. Okay, so here we go. That was plan July nineteenth. But you notice, like, there's it's July twenty seventh, and then that's how like the Instagram wa was. He clearly stopped posting. Fun seeing so many kids conquering their fears this first week of surf camp. Thanks for our amazing team. Hmm, that's crazy. And then he had an Instagram for the surf school as well. Two weeks ago, but that that could be run by someone there. A few friends showed up to say hello. As we get ready for a summer full of waves and salty smiles, we wanted to send a warm greeting from all of us at the Love Water family. Whether you're a regular or a newcomer, our team is excited to see you and welcome you into a summer full of joy, accomplished goals, and overall times of refreshment. It's an honor to get to serve so many amazing families each year, and we're hoping that each person will be truly blessed by our team and receive a renewed love for surfing. See you in the water. Yeah, okay. Prayers for that mother. That is just, uh, I can't even. What? What a nutcase. What a nutcase. So, what do you guys think? How does, what did I say? How does what? A mother go on after this? It's, it's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. Now, Wendy, I don't, I don't think it's domestic violence. It's uh, a mental problem. Um, and being, you know, but I mean, Whoever all of these friends are and stuff, either their, their husbands, wives better uh, take note because, you know, I don't think he was alone in these beliefs and with people. Believing that, uh, yeah, he believed his children were going to grow up. He had to save the world by killing his children. He thought they had reptilian DNA passed down from their mother. And they were going to grow up to be monsters. And he had, he knows it was wrong, but he had no choice is what he said. Don't be so sure about insanity. Um, 
jokily. He already said in his confession he knew it was wrong. He knew insanity... It's not just being doing something that you would think is insane. Look at Tim Jones. It's crazy. He shot one 17 times and the other 12. It, it just said there he shot the daughter right in the heart. And he said that he shot the sun and the sun was still moving around. That's horrible. That's just, uh, let me see something else. Hang on. Let me see here. When Abby Coleman first contacted the police, she was worried about her kid's safety. Okay, her husband had taken two-year-old Kaleo, 10-month-old Roxy, without her, even though they had been planning on going a family camping trip together. She told a police officer she did not believe that her husband would harm her children nor did she believe her children were in any danger. Two days later, a farmhand found the bodies of Kaleo and Roxy. In the undergrowth near a ranch in Mexico, both children had been stabbed more than a dozen times. Hours later, the FBI apprehended Matthew at the border crossing into the United States. Conspiracies had enlightened him and he believed his children were gonna grow into monsters. That's what he told an FBI agent who interviewed him. He felt the only way to save the world was to murder his own children. Horrific and tragic murders of two young children has rocked the community in Santa Barbara, where he lived and worked. He's well known and surf camps at Santa Clara Beach. He taught children ages 8 to 13 how to surf. Inter... Inter... Spear said... Inter, in, oh, excuse me, interspersed with Bible study sessions. Wait a second, they were Bible study sessions with the surfing? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing spear thing. As I, that's what I like. He taught children ages 8 to 13 how to surf interspersed with Bible study sessions. Among other projects, the surf school that he launched with his wife had initiative to teach young victims of human trafficking. Mm. Most of them teenage girls had to surf. Members of a Christian surfing group said that Coleman did not attract any suspicion during a paddle out memorial service for a deceased friend several weeks ago, and he seemed normal. On Wednesday, at the Calvary Santa Barbara, a church Coleman was associated with the pastor, Tommy Schneider, said, he's taken care of your children, walked in your circles, been the best man at some of your weddings. This is a person that we knew. It feels like a betrayal because it is a betrayal. It's a heartache past what we can understand. And then he addressed these theories that Coleman said inspired him to commit this horrific crime. And he said, QAnon is wreaking havoc across the nation and it's wreaking havoc here, motioning to the crowd. I've seen people get destroyed by it. It's evil, straight from the devil. 
We need to be alert. Coleman was born and raised in Santa Monica. Um, do, do, do. It says he loved to spearfish on his biography and sail as a boy, but he fell in love with surfing and competed on the surf team at Point Loma Nazarene University as an undergrad. He then moved to Spain before traveling to more than 230 countries on a surf mission. He returned to Santa Barbara where he married his wife in 2017 and set up the surf school. And again, they're saying there's nothing on his social media that would even allude to any of these conspiracy theories. His Instagram is filled with images of what appears to be an idyllic life, right? We saw that. Uh, do, 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 do. His wife, Abby, told police that she and her husband were planning a family camping trip the weekend that he took the kids. But instead, on Saturday, he left with the two children in the Mercedes Sprinter. Wouldn't respond to texts or messages. And she didn't believe her husband, she told them, would harm or hurt the kids. They told her to use the Find My iPhone app, which put him in uh, Rosarito, Mexico. They got him at the border crossing, which we know. Um, Roxy had been stabbed 12 times, and Kaleo was stabbed 17 times. He left the house without telling his wife, because he didn't have a car seat for his infant daughter. He put her in a box. Why didn't he even have a car seat with her? But he put her in a box. He checked into a hotel in Rosarito on Saturday, where he stayed for two nights. CCTV footage shows him leaving before dawn with his children but returning hours later alone. So he is down there for two nights, Saturday night and Sunday night, and still leaves before dawn on Monday with the children. Hours later, he comes back alone. He told the FBI his son did not die right away. Oh, he says, okay, here it's more clear what he said about the spear. His son didn't die right away, so he had to move the spear around, thereby cutting his hand in the process, he said. But if he shot him 17 times... Hopefully that was after, I mean, I, I can't even. When asked if he knew what he was doing was wrong, he told the agents he knew it was wrong, but it was the only course of action that would save the world. It's disgusting. All right, well, that is just a horrific story horrible what is mental Sandra said is they don't see all the things they say are going to happen they don't see that all the things they say are going to happen never do Yeah, I, I, I can't even imagine. I, I, it's horrific. And so before we go, we're okay. So here's the thing. We're going to go to Patreon and, well, we're not going to go to Patreon. 
you can you can go get the um the zoom link on patreon in just a few minutes we're gonna go watch the jinx okay the next two episodes of the jinx robert durst now if you want to join us and you're not a member of patreon you can become a member of patreon if you want um to do that and then what we do just so you know we go into a zoom we're not on youtube we can do whatever we want because we're not governed by copyright or anything we're on our own private meeting okay we're not on any forum we're not on youtube we're not streaming on facebook or patreon or anything we are in a private zoom meeting okay and then from that private zoom meeting you can watch with us in there and talk with us in there and it's really it's quite nice and it's it's nice so if you want to do that we're going to watch the second two episodes at least of um the jinx on hbo okay and uh i think if anybody wants the patreon link i think if i think nightbot has it doesn't he let me see if he does it let me just see And I wish we could do something like this on YouTube or something, but you can't because you'll get slammed with a copyright. So that's why the members, with members, if you're a member, we have member movie nights. And, and we've already, we're, we're watching a um, series. What are we doing now? We watched, we binge watched uh, with the members. We binge watched, what was the one? The Undoing. And now we've started on Cruel Summer. So if you're a member... Pay attention to the movie nights because they're they're fun. You can't, Anna. Your MasterCard won't let you. Okay, but um, I don't know why it won't let you. Why won't it let you? It won't let you? Not a member, Anna. It's Patreon. I don't even know if he'll put up the link. There's the link right there. Nightbot just put it up. Um, but before we go to that, I'm just, I just want to check Donald Wells page to see if he put up anything. Okay. Cause I, I, I've been out like swimming and stuff all day and that's why I look like this, but, uh, I, and then I had phone calls and I, it was getting later and later and later. I said, I have to get on and see what we have. <sighs> okay, let me get to his page and we'll just take a quick look if anything is, um, he's posted anything, I have no idea. Or if there's, I, I know that there's, um, hold on a minute, what is going on here? I don't want, no, cancel, please. Yes, I, hold on, I want to leave that. Thank you. Okay, so he um, he's posting about Brandon Dassey, who now Brandon that that he's like um, he has a developmental disability, a mental developmental disability, and felt so sorry for that kid because they, you know, that I think anybody that saw that saw that's not right. But I don't know why he's posting that because why again is he going at the, the I, I don't understand why he's posting that one. You know, I don't know, unless he's just trying to say all cops are corrupt or something. I don't know. But other than that, I don't see him. Somebody said he was going in the comments, but I don't, I'm not seeing that. 
see. I don't see anything there. Let me look if there's, I'm going to go to one of the group things. See if they posted anything. Do, do, do. I'm just looking around here. I'm not really seeing anything. Um, I don't know when this is posted yesterday, but this is just a screenshot in here of Donald Wells, and it said that Chris didn't go through law enforcement as he claims. He wasn't asked to come here. His only agenda was to create a Jerry Springer show for his own pocket. He don't give a, and it's blanked out about Summer. In fact, him and the psychic sideshow actually shut down the investigation, but the investigation is not shut down according to TBI and to the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office. We were lied to by him, and he has lied to all of us. Please tell me if I'm wrong, but has he done one thing to find Summer? I don't think so. He's in another state collecting y'all's money. That's it. And... What is this one that he put this? That Chris is nationally known for locking up innocent underage boys. That's all pure evil. He can't stand being called out on his own lies. Is he getting some kind of... What? Stratification. He says like S stratification. stratification. Okay, I think he means... If he's trying to put I don't, satisfaction... Locking up teenage boys, just a thought. Okay, so that's kind of weird. Now he's accusing Chris of not only um, getting a false confession, but now he's, he's tying in some uh, deviant stuff. That's, that's, that's very strange. That is strange. Now somebody's saying, yeah, sure, his Facebook page has not been hacked. So, yeah, just a bunch of he said, she said, everything said. We just have to wait. Just have to wait and see. All right, so his detectives took their info down. Oh, that um, missing persons group, you mean, or whatever that was? Hi, Deidre Realtor. I don't know. It doesn't look like... Um, Second video, Sandra's saying he is more worried about Chris than Summer. What is Sandra saying? He didn't, but he did comment on a post, a second video, saying that Chris messed up the whole investigation. Oh, okay. So that uh, the second video post. So that must be what I what they had in the group, right? 
All right, but we are going to go to Patreon to watch the Jinx. Um, what else am I going to say? And then, oh gosh, I have two Happy Mails. Should I open the Happy Mails now before we go? Do we need Happy Mail opening? Tell me if I should open the Happy Mail before we go to Patreon. In the meantime, I'm going to put the link in Patreon. But tell me if we need Happy Mail opening. Yes, Happy Mail opening? Okay. Um... Okay, let me go, let me go get the happy mail. I've got two happy mails here. And I think I better open them, let me see. I've got one from Lisa D and one, I'm not sure who it's from, let me see. I still have squeaky shoes because I took a sh shower and everything in my shoes. I know I should dry them out. I, it's it's ridiculous, but it. I'm just trying to open things, even though I know Lisa wouldn't send me um, use makeup or anything. This is from Janice Wolf, and she has it decorated nice. I'm not going to dox her, but she's got all kinds of stickers. It's a large box, and it has all kinds of stickers. Let me just open it so that. I don't know if Janice Wolf is here. Janice, are you here? Hold on a minute. I'm just getting this so that I can open this for you guys. I know I'm going crazy. I don't usually act like this with a storm. Okay, so I'm just. Ah. All right, so let me let me get the the camera on again here now. Okay. My hair is ridiculous. This says, Handmade with Love by Nature's True Art. It says, Dear Carolyn, I just wanted you to know that I'm so blessed to have found you as a new friend. Please know that even when the world can be unkind, that you will always have a friend in me. I know it hasn't been easy, but you have always remained kind, honest, and loving. I have and will continue to keep you, Jimmy, and the boys in my prayers. Remember, you are loved, Janice. Thank you, Janice. And so this is says uh, handmade by nature's true art. So these are handmade. These, I guess, are handmade by nature. No, I'm joking. But it is. It is stuck on there. Okay, let's see. Okay, hang on. This is really... Wow, this is heavy. Oh my goodness. This is heavy. Look how nice this is. You know, just an FYI, I may end up... Um, I'll keep this video as it is, but I may end up just downloading it for myself and cutting off the um, Happy Mail and putting it its own video for Janice and Lisa so it doesn't have to be, you know, they don't have to watch this this uh, terrible thing. So they'll see it. Uh, I'll do try to do that tomorrow, you know, put it up on its own thing. 
She said, this book I made for you in remembrance of Ray and your faith in knowing he is safe in the arms of the angels until you're together again. When displaying this book, please place it so that the ribbon is fully extended flat. This will make the sentiment easy to see. I hope you love it. Wow, that sounds special. Let's see. Let's see again. Is my squirrel squeaking? It sometimes squeaks and it, and it runs in its wheel. Hmm. I'm trying to nicely remove the glue. Is Janice here by any chance? I wish she was here. Hi, Margo. This is, let me show you first, this is um, Memories Family, Love Memories Family, and then it says, find beauty in the small things. Okay, and she said, make sure that when you display the book, what'd she say, make sure when you display the book the ribbon lies flat, so I wish she was here to tell me what she's talking about. I'm confused, right? She said, make sure, hold on a minute. It says, when displaying the book, please place it so the ribbon is fully extended flat. This will make the sentiment easy to see. I hope you love it. I, okay, so when she says fully extended flat, does, can someone help me? What does she mean? Janice, are you here? Can someone help me with this? Fully extended flat. Janice, I know I must be doing something really wrong here. You have to open it, but what? But it, but it's tied. Look. Are you sure, Deidre? Open it. It's a pop up. You sure, Hop and Holly? I can't. It's not. No. 
It's, it's, it's glued on. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. It's not, it's not a ribbon. It's, it's a, it's, um, it's tied on and it's, no, you can't untie it. I wish Janice was here. Is Janice here? Janice? She said, make sure it's fully extended, flat. I'm trying to see. Oh, I see it. Hold on, hold on. No. You see what? Okay. Here, it's going to be probably be very hard for you to see. It says, okay, let me see. You probably won't be able, I don't think, I don't know if it'll show. Like, look, watch. Now, I see, I don't think you'll be able to, hold on. Can you see it? You can see it a little bit. Can you see what it says? Look. It says faith. It says faith. Do you see that? It's, it's hard to, probably hard for you to see where you are, but it says faith. And um, what it is, it's the city of mirrors. Did you see that? Okay. No, it says faith. That is really nice. Thank you so much, Janice. That is really pretty. That is really, really nice. Thank you so much. That's really nice. Okay, let's see. Ow! What did I just do with that? Okay, she's got other things in here, though. Let me see. So, let's see here. This says, I created these for you in honor of you and the amazing success of your channel. I hope you enjoy them and can find somewhere to display them. They will stand on their own or you can use them or you can use the ribbon hangers. Okay. Everything is wrapped so nicely. All these ribbons. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one says one on it. I feel like it's I feel like it's a scavenger hunt, you know. I'm definitely gonna take this and put it in its own video. I will definitely put it in its own video. Okay, this one is, okay, this is, um, she has an M, it has all little flowers on it, and then on the back, it's also an M, and it has, like, gold leaf on it, and the sides have gold leaf. That's really pretty. So this, um, I think I have an idea of what it might be. If I'll know if the second one is what I think it is, do you think, do you know what the second one, do you know what the second one is going to be? What do you think the second one is going to be? What do you think it's going to be, the second one? Put the letter you think the second one is going to be.
I was right. So were some of you. So we've got up oh, this way, right? MR, Mr. No. We've got one more. You know which one this is, right? You know what letter this is? Hop and Holly doesn't know. Hop and Holly. The nickname for the channel is M R B. That's the nickname for the channel, M R B. Oh, I love it. That's so nice. Very cute. So, yes. That's very cute. Let me see if I can. Maybe I can. So it's. Very nice. Thank you. I'm definitely going to hang those up. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put these right over here so nothing happens to them. Okay, and there's uh, still something else in there. These are the, look at this, optional ribbon hangers. She's a very, she, Janice is a very good labeler. Should display on my screen. What do you mean on my screen? I'm going to put up another, I'm going to cut it, like take this, I'm going to keep this video as it is, but I'm going to take it, you know, just download it myself and then just take the happy mail part out and put it up because I, I want it to be, I'm going to leave it here because I don't want to ruin the live chat, but I want to have its own separate video too. Just... Oh wow, these are so pretty. Hold on. Oh, I'll def I would definitely use these to hang it. So these are the ribbon, the ribbon hangers, and they have a um. Hold on. There's a, like a yellow rose. These are really pretty flowers that she has, and I guess. I would imagine that I hot glue those or something to the back. Like, I don't know if I put it there or I'll have to ask Janice. Um, but there, I will definitely use the, she has a matching three of them. Very nice. It would be nice if they were on show while uh, you're alive. Yeah, it would be. Maybe I can. Oh, I know. I know. I know what's. I know what's. I know what. Uh, I got you. I got you. Yes. You're saying display them here. Like a B, the R, and the M, right? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely. Now I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was not. I, I didn't know right away. Yeah, that'll look nice. I'll have to move the microphone so you, you'll see that. But I'll, yeah, I'll, that's a very good idea. That's a great idea. Beautiful. Perfect. Very pretty. Thank you so much, Janice. I love them. Thank you. Very, very pretty. And thank you for the book. That's beautiful. And um, now, last but not least, hold on a minute. I just want to make sure I've got everything out here because I've done that before, like with Caroline Connor. Okay, this is this and this. Okay, here's Lisa. And Lisa uses this um, retro sewing.
paper. Carolyn. Oh, and then there's a card. Love Bloom Grow. That's her washi tape that she likes. And that's how she seals the envelope with the washi tape. And a little scotch tape or something, too. She double says, Oh, look! A Snoopy card. To save that, of course. Thanks for being you. Love, Lisa D. Carolyn, thanks for being you. Love, Lisa D. Thanks for being you. Okay. What is this that she's sending me? Somehow I think I'm supposed to know what she's sending me. It feels like a doll. It feels like, it feels like a doll. Does anybody know what it is? I feel like I'm boxing one of those Reborns, right? Let's look at its feet first. It has little feet. And it says, there's a little tag, and it says, hold on, here I'm going to put the tag up, see if you can tell what it says. Hold on. It almost looks like it says Warsaw. Hold on. Warrens, I think. I, I don't know. And then it's got another little tag over here see on the back and if you turn that over it also has that who knows what that is I remember Lisa saying something I got you something okay now it's time for the big reveal I'm not gonna look at the face there I'm not looking at the face oh my goodness <gasps> Oh my gosh, what is this? This looks so vintage. And it looks like a little caroler too. Look, do you want to see the face? He looks like he's singing. And look, look at a little hair. I, um, I thought I heard her say something the last time we were on, like, oh, I got you something, and I, and it's like a rub, one of those rubbery dollies, but what is this? Is this a new doll that's made to look like an old doll, or is it, it's got the number on the back, too. It has that V mark. Here, look, who knows about this? What? West Germany. This is so cute. Where did she get this from? Uh, you know what? I really wish I could see her in person and thank her. 
That'll never happen. She'll never come up here, right? She'll never be able to get away and come up here. Hmm. That would be amazing if I could thank her in person. Maybe someday. Hi, Bethany Scobie. I thought I saw your little avatar. Look how cute it is. It's got Ethan's little hair. When Ethan was a baby, all my babies, but Ethan especially with this. I used to think he looked like, I used to always say Ethan looked like a Cupid doll. This is crazy. The doll looks brand new though. I mean, it looks it looks absolutely brand new. So that's what I'm saying. Little chubbies. Yeah, I should maybe. Uh, it's um. Very cute. And I don't know whether she. That's really cute. And then it's got, like I said, it has another little, this other little tag over here. Looks like a little medallion. Really cute. Very cute. It's adorable. They give each other dolls. They're so crazy, those people. Hi, Kevin Leonard. They give each other dolls. What's wrong with them? Don't they know? They're crazy. Stop it. Cut it out. It's a doll for crying out loud. What's wrong with them? It might be a vintage Hummel West Global. Really, Lisa H? That's what it does look like. It looks like a Hummel doll. But does anybody remember the night she was on? She said something like, I've got you something. I'm sending you a happy mail. And I said, no, don't, don't, don't send me anything. It is a, oh, you're smart. Look at this. How silly. Look what it is a Hummel. Look. I've never seen this. I wonder. It's so cute. I wish I could get a picture with Lisa D and the doll and me. You know, that would be cute, right? If I could get a picture of me, Lisa, and the doll. If I could get a couple of pictures of her handing me the doll. Here's the doll. Or her wanting it back. Right? Have you ever had, a, you had friends like that as a kid, right? And then everybody would call them, you know, names that you can't use now, but that we did when we were little. And she'd be like, you know what? This is so cute. I'm going to keep it. I can always crop her in. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
you have a newborn reborn a toddler reborn and many micro preemies so that's nice Ruby Ann Not right now, Kathy. But you never know, right? You never know once you could show up. So we can sit down. I think it's a little boy. Anyway, it would be a great surprise. Maybe. Maybe one day soon. But very cute. I love it. But we have to go to Patreon so I don't stay up too late because I have a busy, 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 busy day tomorrow. Well, that blows the gift that is coming your way any day now. Just send it. Oh, Scooter, stop that. Oh, my goodness. This is so cute. And everything Jan Janice sent, these are really gonna look great. I wonder if she, um, I will get the, you know, them over here. I think they look great there. Look, the colors look really nice with the uh, turquoise -y screen, don't they? So I have to just put the hangers on and uh, put them there. That'll be cute this way. A, probably right there. Very nice gifts. Thank you, ladies. And ladies, I'm going to put this in its own video. It'll be in this one too, but I'm going to put it in its own video so that it's all by itself the way. And um, I will see see the Patreons. I'm going to put the, the, the uh, meeting now right in Patreon. And... Um, I'll see you guys over there. Thank you all for watching. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless. Stay well. Somebody's messaging me. Um, but all right. I'll see you later, guys. I'm going to go. So I, let's see. I have to keep the Zoom open. Patreons. Look on the Patreon page. The post will be there. Guys, I love you. We're going to watch the... Um, the rest of the dirt we're gonna watch the next two the jinx the next two episodes of the jinx right that's the patreon one where's mimi she wanted to see it so bad i hope mimi can hear this mimi yeah i'm gonna do i'll do the i'll put them i'll put i'll cut this i'll leave it the way it is because but i'll download a copy of this and i'll cut out the the mail part and put it in its own video and then maybe I, I could add to it like a little um, talk about what the doll is and then show maybe the letters hung up and stuff and everything. All right. But I'll see you guys uh, later. Bye. And oh, no, I can't. I, I don't have to get that out of here. I've got to just and the stream yards, the stream labs. I don't have stream yards, stream labs. Okay. Bye. God bless. Oh, and uh, yes, yeah, Summer, I just, you know, you saw what Outback said. She's in recovery. She's okay, um, and uh, we'll update you more, but prayers, she appreciates prayers and everything.